Hello, I'm inventor Dan Zen, and this is Falcon. Falcon helps designers and developers load data from XML or text files uh, or send data to and from uh, Flash to PHP uh, with just a few lines of code. Falcon is available at falconflash.wordpress.com and it's part of the Flash Feathers series of advanced interface classes available at flashfeathers.wordpress.com. Here's the download link here. We can download there. We can see some sample code in the video. There's the other Flash Feathers and a blog about uh, Falcon. So let's take a look and see what's in the zip file. You get a readme which talks about how to install classes and so forth. Um, an icons folder which includes a little component icon of Falcon that you can put in your application if you want. A com folder that's where your Falcon class is and some samples and we'll take a look through those. Let's look in the com folder. A Dan Zen package, a utilities package, and then the Falcon class and a Falcon provider class. Falcon provider is the same thing as Falcon except it lets you easily put data into a, a data provider for a data grid or a list. Now for this to work you'll have to make sure that this com folder is put in a folder in your class path. So you should have a classes folder for instance in your flash class path and then put the com folder in the classes folder. Do not put the com folder in your flash class path if you want this to work properly and this will work then um, with all the flash feathers and uh, also other people who distribute in this manner. Let's take a look in the samples folder you're given five sample FLAs to load in text, XML, um, to load in variables from PHP, and to send and load variables uh, between Flash and PHP. And then the last one is to bring data into a data provider. The document classes for those are available here and we're going to look through those. As well, there's the PHP files, uh, sample XML and, and text file. So here's what it looks like in Flash. Let's take a look at the Falcon file itself first. Uh, you don't need to do anything in here. This is the, the code that we did that um, means that you don't have to do it. Uh, there's the documentation. It talks a bit about how to install the class. Um, here are the, the Flash classes that you might have to use if you weren't using Falcon. And uh, sometimes these are hard for designers and even a pain for developers. URL loader, data format, etc. There's a fair number of them and uh, you have to make URL variables, URL requests, URL loaders, etc. And Falcon does this all in one class, it's, so it's a wrapper um, to these various classes. Let's see how it works. Here's a text example where we're going to load in some text. Control enter and there is some text from a text file. Now the code for that is um, same sort of information there we import our Falcon class. In the constructor we make a new Falcon object. Uh, my Falcon of data type Falcon is equal to our new Falcon object. We pass in the text file and the fact that it's text data that we're reading. Then on that Falcon object we add an event listener event.complete and we get data. So that calls the get data function down here when the text is loaded into Falcon. Down here we can ask for an error or check for an error first if we want and then uh, if we don't have an error we take e.target.data. e.target in this case is the um, is the Falcon object since Falcon triggered the event so that's the same as saying my Falcon which you can do as well if you want. So my Falcon data, my Falcon has a data property that holds the data from the text file. And we put that data into the text fields text property. So my text.text .text is equal to my Falcon.data. So 
once again we import our falcon we make a new falcon object passing it our text file we add a listener that when that data is there we put the data that's in falcon into the text file for the XML example there's some data loading in from XML It's pretty well the same thing we import our falcon in our constructor we create a new falcon object there's the name of the XML file and we say it's falcon.xml underscore data that's its data type when the loading's complete or the event's complete uh, we can uh, check for an error and then if we ask for e.target.data e.target.data that's our XML object so in our XML object we have nodes such as a text node and that would get the information in the text node we have an author node that gets the author information a location node has a city attribute and so that's how we can get the city attribute out of the location and a country attribute out of the location let's take a look at the XML here's the text node here's the author node the location node along with its country attribute and its city attribute now the text node looks a little bit funny because it's got the C data tag and end of C data tag. That's really ugly. One of the ugliest tags in existence. But what it allows you to do is pass some text and not worry about these brackets. So if you normally pass brackets, angle brackets, and some other characters into um, in between XML tags, well, it's going to think that's an XML tag and it will break probably. So C data says, hey, ignore anything bad in between there. And so that's really handy to know. All right. Well, uh that was XML text. And what we're going to do next in the next video is we'll take a look at bringing in variables and um from PHP and also uh the data provider. I'm inventor Dan Zen. This has been uh, the first view of Falcon and the Falcon code, available at falconflash.wordpress.com. Please have a look at part two.